Hello, and welcome back to another Sunday Sip. Today, we're going to do another one from Yards of Brewing out of Philadelphia. This is another one in their Ales of the Revolution series. Jefferson's Golden Ale is coming in at 8% alcohol. Um, I tried to look up some on this beer and it really isn't a recipe to follow because I guess Jefferson didn't believe in making a recipe. He didn't think there was a recipe for it. You just kind of want it every time. But it's believed that he enjoyed nice strong ales, little tavern ales. More in the British style. So we'll pour her out here. Look at that. That is a nice crisp and golden. Super clear. With a nice about three finger foamy head. Kind of khaki white. Strong. Almost like a sweet molasses in it. Hmm. It's just interesting because the Washington Porter had molasses. But I believe that was a common ingredient back then. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments. Nice malt. Maybe some honey in there too. Yeah, it's got like that sweet honey. Interesting, you got that molasses honey sweetness. Not super malt. No hops really at all. Give her a sip. A little warm, but to me, at eight percent, it does make sense. There's a tiny bite to it. Deep, sweet. Definitely get some honey. Not so much molasses now, but you definitely get some of that sweet honey. Heavy. Oh yeah, this is a drinker. You know, it's got a dry finish in the back. I'm getting that now. Definitely get the alcohol. Even at 8%, it's still... I can see why Jefferson liked these kind. Is it an all day drinker? I don't think so. Maybe one or two would personally do me good. I don't know if I could do that. You get that sweet up front with like a heavy dry in the back. But it's not. It's an interesting aftertaste. I have tried this one before, but it was years ago, so I don't really remember. Um, there is one more in this line. It is a spruce ale based on a Benjamin Franklin recipe. I haven't had my hands on it yet. I'm going to try to find it so I can try it. I'm liking these from Yards. They're one of the oldest, well not oldest, but they're an older craft. Been around since 94. You know, I've tried to visit the brewery one time. Parking is crazy in Philadelphia. Wasn't able to go. Maybe one day. If you get your hand on anything from this series, 
do it. If you get to change anything from yards, do it. They are one of the better traditional British style or even traditional craft anymore. They don't get too crazy with their drinks or their brews. So it's like more traditional, laid back, easy sipping. Yards is the way to go. So I will give this a four out of five and that's only because I'm not a fan of that dry finish on the end but for what it is it's delicious cheers everybody